Bat Jack JW <laughs> uh, coming to you with, well, mainly uh, the grips we're talking about. Uh, 1911 with the uh, Cobra grips. Now, if you're like me and grew up with the movie Cobra from the 80s and everything, you will completely get this video. If not, uh, you'll probably be just clueless and <laughs> wonder why uh, the vast majority of us that grew up with this cult film now and um, love it and have become obsessed with uh, this, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have searched a, lo a long time for them. Uh, they are not uh, easy to find. Uh, there was uh, a guy, uh, Sid Sidney Ryan, that was doing them, and he's still doing them. Uh, they're about seventy-five bucks, eighty bucks. And what he does is he scrimshaws them, and um, these are not by him. Uh, these are actually um, knockoffs from Thailand. So you can get these for about fifty bucks, and they come from Thailand. Uh, you're going to have to kind of wait and order them and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, that's where they come from. Uh, I'm here to talk about, I guess, uh, what would you expect for the quality of them? Um, why would you, you know, if you do go ahead and, and purchase them and what to expect. Uh, right off the bat, I don't want to waste any time. It is a sticker. Uh, I'm just going to flat out say it. That's what it is. It's a sticker. Uh, it's just an image that they printed out and uh, got it stuck pretty pretty decent on the grips. But that's what it is. It's not anything um, it, as listed actually on the uh, packaging material. It, they list it as a collectible. And that's kind of what this is. It's going to be kind of a collectible thing for you. Um, I'm sure it'll hold up some if you take it to the range and use it. But I'm uh, almost certain positive that... Uh, if you plan on using them and, uh, you know, carrying it and uh, doing all that kind of stuff with it, using the gun, cleaning the gun and whatnot, the, you will wear this right off. And uh, you won't have the image anymore. And that's, in the end, what you're paying for. So, I'll be honest with you on that right now. Um, but, you know, if you're like me and just kind of wanted a set, uh, just to kind of have and display on the, on the firearm, uh, the 1911 and everything, so, um, you know then so be it that's what it is uh it's about as close as you're gonna get uh, you know um i did a few things to mine to help it uh hopefully uh one thing that i did was i actually lacquered over it um that's something i did do to help with it but when i first got it you can actually feel when you first get them you can actually feel where the sticker begins and and, and whatnot where on the grips themselves so um give you another look at the other side but, uh, you know, in the movie also, it's kind of interesting because in the movie, the, the, <laughs> the grips do change, if you can believe that. If you catch it and watch it really carefully, um, watch when he first approaches the grocery store and he's walking, the gun's stuck in his belt. The grips have a different logo on it. It's not the, uh, the cobra head. It's like a, like a, it's the full snake. Um, and then you can really see it when he goes to clean his gun where he takes that frozen pizza out of his freezer and cuts it with scissors and takes his cleaning kit out of an egg carton <laughs> so um uh you can see it uh, briefly it's a different logo it's not obviously not that but um, this is the predominant logo that they wanted to use it, it's in the beginning of the film and everything like that so um actually the last thing we'll cover before we shut the video uh is the the gun itself what did he use well he used uh it's a gold cup conversion nine millimeter it's a full size i thought it was a uh, commander nine millimeter for a long time and uh, it's not it's a uh, it's a gold cup that they converted to a nine millimeter i'm assuming in 1986 maybe that they didn't really have one in nine millimeter or something um the number of speculations of why they did that the funny thing is they don't really actually try to hide the fact that that's what it is because they clearly show you the thing pretty up close uh, you can see on the side on the slide it says actually uh, Colt's conversion unit nine millimeter uh, when he takes that magazine out it's clearly a magazine with a ridge on it uh, with glazier uh, safety slugs and of course the big bell on the barrel 
Maybe they did it because Sly likes custom made stuff, or it could have been just because the blank situation. Uh, 9mm blanks work better than the 45 auto. In fact, it's notorious that they would use a star uh, 1911 type copy of a, a 1911 kind of deal in most movies, like such as The Wild Bunch and The Getaway with uh, Steve McQueen. So, anyway, a uh, little bit of a movie bit for you here, but uh, there you are Cobra Grips. And what do they look like? Pretty awesome, uh, I must say myself. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.